It's important to think about recycling of electric vehicle batteries for two reasons. First of all, the huge demand for EV batteries in 10 to 15 years will also lead to a huge battery waste mountain, which we need to deal with. The second reason is that current batteries contain critical materials such as cobalt, lithium and graphite, and we need to make sure that we recover those materials from end-of-life batteries to feed them back into the manufacturing process. I'm Laura Lander, I'm a postdoctoral research associate in the Electrochemical Science and Engineering Group at Imperial College London. My research focus is on the sustainability assessment and techno-economic aspects of lithium-ion batteries and next-generation batteries for electric vehicle and grid storage applications. So what we do, we assess current battery systems and try to define strategies, how we can make them more environmentally friendly and also in terms of life cycle costs, how can we make them more affordable. To move towards large-scale recycling in the UK, I think government support is quite important in terms of tax incentives, for example, financial support. And um, also another strategy is to bring recycling costs down. And there are several pathways you can do this. For example, uh, disassembly of batteries is important. The design of batteries is quite complicated at this stage. So taking apart a battery will take quite a lot of time. So easy to disassemble batteries, um, automated disassembly processes, and um, also more efficient recycling processes that um, recover more materials, which can then be resold so revenue can be generated. To improve the sustainability of a battery, you have to look across the entire value chain. At the first stage, we need to develop modeling tools, simulation tools, which help us to understand at each stage exactly what are the environmental hotspots. Then, based on those insights, to develop strategies how to solve those. The market leader in terms of battery chemistries are the nickel cobalt manganese batteries because they are the most performant one and so are widely used. But there are also alternatives which have been neglected in the past. We have the lithium iron phosphates, uh, LFP chemistry. Tesla, who's using nickel cobalt aluminum batteries, moving away from those chemistries towards LFP materials, which are more abundant, more sustainable. The goal is to develop sustainable energy storage technologies for a sustainable energy future.